Experienced anglers know that there's more to picking the right line than just considering tensile strength. Among other things, abrasion resistance is critically important no matter what species you're after. Stay with me and I'll show you some abrasion tests that provide surprising results. This is John from US Angler, and today I'm gonna to do some abrasion tests of braid, fluorocarbon, and mono in head-to-head -head comparisons. Now we all know that braid tends to have the highest test strength for diameter, and it can be very thin while still being very strong. But how does it compete with mono at the same diameter and at the same, or rather, at the same test strength? For these tests, I've chosen three really good lines. First, Strun Original in 20 pound test. Second, Suffix 832, an excellent braid in 20 pound test. And Seguar's Invis X, a top flight fluorocarbon. One common criticism of abrasion tests is that wet line performs differently than dry line. And so testing lines that haven't been exposed to water doesn't give you accurate results. That's true. So what I do is submerge all three lines in water for several hours before I begin the tests. To perform these tests, I built a simple rig out of wood that allows me to suspend these lines with known weights so that I can subject them to equal abrasion. Each test suspends a line head to head against another. It uses 2.5 kilo, or about five pound weights, to provide tension to the line, and I'm using fairly aggressive sandpaper to simulate the kind of rough surfaces you might encounter in the real world, like barnacle encrusted pilings, oyster shells, sharp rocks, and the like. The first test pits 20 pound Stren against 20 pound Suffix 832. The second test pits the winner of the first, the Stren, against Seguar's Invis X at 20 pounds as well. So we had the results of the extremely abrasive test and obviously Braid failed miserably. But I wanted to give it a second chance and I wanted to simulate less abrasive surfaces as well, like logs or around or rocks that you might encounter in fishing as well. So I decreased the grit of the sandpaper substantially and did the tests again. The first test was Stren 20 pound against Suffix 20 pound. The next test featured the winner of the first, Stren, against Seguar Invis X. The final test put pitted Seguar Invis X against Suffix 832. results were fairly shocking. Even against a less abrasive medium, braid just doesn't hold up. That got me to thinking, could it be that the braided construction in which multiple strands are woven together is the problem? So I devised a second kind of test where I would lightly and consistently abrade each type of line and then subject it to stress and measure exactly how much weight it took to break it after abrasion. In this test, I want to see how much abrasion lines can take before they break under load. So what I did is I took the Suffix 832 and compared it directly with Stren. Both of these are 20 pound test, but to be fair to the braid, I also compared it against six pound Stren original, which has exactly the same diameter. What I did was simply attach line at one end using a uni knot to a hook and at the other using a uni knot to a fish scale. I lightly abrade with three passes, each line using 180 grit sandpaper. The idea is just to rough them up, not to actually destroy them. And as you can see, it was successful. 
You can tell that each line has been damaged slightly, but not compromised fully. I then subject each of these to load, measuring how much force it takes to break them. And all of them, by the way, failed at the point they were abraded, not at either knot. So this test was just as shocking in its own right. The suffix 832, a 20 pound braided line, broke at just a little over one pound of tension after it had been compromised. Comparatively, the 20 pound strand broke at 17.25 pounds, and the six pound strand was compromised at 4.5 pounds. Simply put, mono is vastly superior at abrasion resistance when compared to braid. There's simply no question about it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an enemy of braid. It's a great line and I use it myself. When you need ultimate casting distance, when you need line that has superior sensitivity, and when you need no stretch hook sets when you have a lot of line out, there's nothing as good as braid. But as far as abrasion resistance, both fluorocarbon and mono are superior and surprisingly roughly equal. It seems to me then that there's very little reason to buy leader material made out of fluorocarbon rather than leader made out of mono. You'll save a lot of money and you'll get just as good a performance.